the first thing you should pay attention to is the integrity. This one is four out of four. This is just your number of gathering attempts and the number of times you can do something to this node. You will know the difference between a collectible item and a regular item because the collectible will have this little box right next to the name. Your goal here is to get your collectability rating, which starts at zero, to a maximum of 1,000. There are really only a couple of moves here that you need to worry about to get that done. Your first ability is Scour. This is your baseline hit. The higher your gathering rating, the higher this number will be. Your next move is called Brazen Prospector. This move is kind of a gamble. It'll either do half as much as your Scour or one and a half times as much as your Scour. The last ability is called Meticulous Prospector. And this one's gonna do 75% of what your baseline is, but there's a chance that you're not gonna use up one of your gathering attempts using it. Using any one of these abilities will make your gathering attempts go down. These secondary actions at the bottom affect how your primary actions at the top work. Your first action is called Scrutiny. This will improve the collectability of your next move. The higher your perception is, the better this ability will be. Your next ability is called Collector's Focus. What this is will give you an additional chance to get a critical hit. So if I click this, my intuition rate, which is right here, will go up. You can think of this as just, I have a 70% chance to critical hit. The last thing in this bottom row is the Collector's Standard. This is a buff. Every now and then it'll light up, and all it means is that the abilities in this top row don't have any negative effect to them. Make sure to check your percentage in the top left corner before you hit collect. An easy way to get a thousand collectability is to start by just using scrutiny and collector's focus, and then use meticulous prospector to try and not use a gathering attempt. It didn't work for us there, so we went down to five of six, and we'll try again. It didn't work again, but we're still raising our collectability. One last time to raise our collectability to 1000, and then we'll just collect the remaining three. Collectible nodes spawn on a real life every half an hour schedule. So I like to keep track of it with a website. It's called Final Fantasy 14 Team Craft. There is a app within game to keep track of these things, but it's really clunky and kind of hard to use. If you go to this site, and I'll link it down below, that has maps, alarms, it tells you where to go. There's all kinds of other good stuff in here too. Highly recommend. Custom deliveries can be done weekly and they can net you a ton of script in a very short amount of time. There are a handful of NPCs around the world that you've already met through your MSQ that just want items collected for them on a weekly basis. I'll leave a link below to where you can unlock all these NPCs. When you go to turn in your collectible, there are three different tiers of rewards. This is why it's important to go for 1,000. Once you have your script from your turn in, there should be a script exchange person right nearby. This is where you get your folklore tokens to get the really big money makers. You're gonna need a whole lot of these folklore tokens. We're gonna buy them up and go next door to the Splendor Vendor. There are three books that you need to buy for each of the gathering classes. These books will last you the entire expansion and you need to buy them if you're an in-game gatherer. 